So you remember last week how we had that nice video and it included our wedding celebration and I was all, you know, pretty and um, my son saw it and he said, you were a princess. And I was like, oh, how sweet. Oh, thank you. And I was rubbing his head, taking it in what he had said about me. And then all of a sudden he said, and now you are not. week since we have had our cup of tea and I'm pretty busy so I hope you don't mind coming along with me while I get things done. Right now I'm making some oatmeal. Wow that was super zoomed in. Is this better? <laughs> uh, thank you. I got a letter in the mail from one of my um, listeners, uh, Ruth, and I just want to thank you so very much for that encouragement. I never thought about putting my P.O. box on YouTube and because um, of your encouragement I think I will include my P.O. box so that um, anyone can have it. It meant a lot to me to receive your letter in the mail that just told me that you're very encouraged by this channel so thank you very much. <laughs> the oatmeal is looking more ready but I think I need to turn up the temperature and let it really boil a little bit. Doing your schoolwork? Mm -hmm. You do like we, math, don't you? Do, what do we have here in uh, 58? Circle the even numbers and look at the ones this place to see if it's even or not. So 58, 8 is an even number, so that's you, that's an even number altogether. What, 8? 8 is an even number, so 58 is an even number. Okay. So in the very end of his letter, in um, first Peter 5 12 through the end it says through Sylvanus our faithful brother for so I regard him I have written to you briefly exhorting and testifying that this is the true grace of God stand firm in it she who is in Babylon chosen together with you sends you greetings and so does my son Mark greet one another with a kiss of love peace be to you all who are in Christ um, this is just a great finish to the letter, just reminding them to stand firm in the truth. And, um, you know, it just, it passes along uh, greetings. My son is in his room playing. <laughs> it passes along greetings to um, everyone, you know, expressing love to each other and just saying how to greet each other, even though I know we don't tend to greet each other with a kiss unless you're like from Europe and my family is so they do actually kiss each other on the cheek a lot but um, but the, but that's not I don't think the point anymore for today because this is probably more of a cultural thing but the point is there's love between us and um, and it says peace be to you all who are in Christ and that is what we have in Christ is peace forgiveness for our sins, um, just the, the, the peace that passes understanding, the knowledge that we're saved, and we have peace with God, and um, so there's no better place to be or better thing to have than peace with Christ. And so that is a great way to end the letter um, that Peter wrote, and there's another letter, Second Peter. I don't know if we're going to go into it next or not. I haven't decided what we're going to get into next, but maybe you have some suggestions. Um, but I just think that it serves us today to remember the value of the things that are most important, and that is the gospel, and that other people know the gospel, that we know the gospel, that we stand firm in the truth and in um, uh, faith in Christ, and that we don't make the things of this world most important, but that we make loving one another most important. 
So I leave that with you as you bless your family and friends around you and that you have the right focus to yourself on things as you go through your week. Thank you for having this cup of tea with me. Oh, I didn't bring my tea into the picture. <laughs> Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again next week. I just realized I never sipped my tea on camera. Two more and you have... There.